Vanessa? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's kind of cool. The these the eyes. I can see my fingers, but I can't see the mirror. The mirror. Oh, you can't see the mirror? Come closer. Got him. Got him. Okay. Hold on. In my ear. No. I'm good. Yeah. No, the way the eyes are, they're oh. too far apart, so I can't... Turn time. Turn them. It's not lazy. You see it now? Oh. <laughs> so this is Teddy Bear Dynamite. I like it. For the first time ever, he's going to be doing the podcast as a bear. <laughs> I right. wore a perfect shirt. Yeah, keep it on. Keep okay. it on. Keep it on. Have oh, my God. Let me hear you. And I want to challenge you to a match. Mask, right? Oh, now. I don't know that. I know you're supposed to be in the death zone. Okay. You ready? Oh, I still can't see you. Turn, turn your head. There you go. Yeah. Oh, someone, everybody here. You ready? Good. You ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, 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 he's doing now. It's a liner and all of your same moves. Oh, all the same moves? Yeah, except for the finisher. I mean, okay. Just like a thing, man. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Woohoo! Like yours? Oh, the but little heart tattoo? It has a cross on it, too. <laughs> that works. All right, guys, uh, this is Speaking Code Podcast. I'm Code, Conspiracy of a Dead Man. Uh, we are going to jump right in it. Uh, this is episode 20. We are uh, going to talk a little bit about stories about mythological cryptid creatures. Um, we're going to deep dive into Bigfoot and cryptids and uh, reptilians and shapeshifters and a little bit of the paranormal, especially since we're uh, so close to Halloween and uh, we don't celebrate it except for TBD. He celebrates it all the time, as you can see. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we'll we'll get into it. So enjoy the show. We are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. There's little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. I am not asking your newspapers to support, but I am asking your help and the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. To the recorder of man's deeds, the keeper of his conscience, the courier of his news, that we look for strength and assistance, confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. We are Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six foot two. He is 200 pounds if he's wet and hungry. His name is Chente, yep. aka just Chente. Introducing second, in the Puerto Rican corner, he is the Rican Mohican. Over in the corner, in the, <laughs> in the black and gold corner, he reigns from Louisiana. He sounds like he's from the South. His name is All Right Dad. And then we got over here leaning next to him. 
in the blue jean Levi corner. <laughs> His name is Haley because he is silly. But don't make him laugh because he won't. If he gets a Whitley. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And introducing for the first time on the Speaking Code podcast, he said no. Jag Nabbit. Oh, okay. And in the black and purple corner, we have the reigning, defending, world podcasting champion, Teddy Bear Dynamite. Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right so that's our uh that's our first little segment in our intro and that's the first time we got so many people in one room this is our first time we're ever doing it live oh and i am code conspiracy of a dead man i am uh the cornerman for teddy b teddy tdb tbd <laughs> teddy bear dynamite it's getting hot and hot and hungry in there <laughs> all right guys um this next segment is called what's in your cup it's a little bit of an icebreaker kind of get the mic around and uh share the wealth so um we're gonna start over to the left of me his name is just chente well it's, it's just chente. <laughs> the chente. The chente. all right man in my cup i got the long beach lemonade all right it's got gin and just lemonade it's <laughs> <laughs> just lemonade yeah, Chocolate milk with the uh, pizza turnover and the slim jim and the french fries, yeah, all the stuff out in there. Yeah. Yeah. You grab the mic. I am stomach pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, what are you drinking? I am drinking on a uh, peach vibe Celsius. Live fit, baby. Let's <laughs> I am drinking on this Imperial Red IPA. Who are you? Tell us yeah. a little bit about yourself. Yeah, say that. Nosferatu. No. Oh, it's good though. It's good. It's straight brown. Straight Oh, green and brown. Green and brown. Really red? Yeah. That's all I got. Sorry. Do a sit up. What's that? <laughs> I am drinking on some water at the moment because I was parched. Um, I was drinking on Chante. What? Made whoa, me some. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't be drinking on Chante. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> it's not that kind of podcast. The bro bit me already. <laughs> Chante made me a drink. I don't know what it's called. Is that Snoop Dogg? Uh, it's called the coffee. Snoop Dogg gin. Gin and juice. It's called the coffee. <laughs> Pretty much made gin and juice. <laughs> you have a perfect night's sleep. Oh, Call right. the Cosby. And then, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. With or without the Cosby. Either way, you're going to get the Jello pudding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I used to call him Bill Cosby when he was a little Bill. Bill. <laughs> just like yeah. He had the bright oh, one, bright yellow. Yeah. And he was always hot. He's like, oh, this is so hot. Apparently, she thought I was cold. You mind handing me that uh that plastic bag right there in front of you? Right here. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. So this next segment is a fun one. I'm going to add some water to it and make it hot. <laughs> he did it without the water. You have diaper, to make it bro. stronger. And just go put your nose in the diaper for like eight hours, bro. That's that's what it smells like. My mom did take it, so I already know. <laughs> All right, guys. Why, why would you put their face in the diaper, though? So this, 
So this Wait, next segment. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this next segment? We're gonna do a little bit of trivia, but it's not that it's not gonna be that hard. Do you know what a cryptid is? No. No. So a cryptid is like a mythological type creature. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple. Uh, I'll give you a couple names. You don't have to. I won't ruin it for you, but like the Loch Ness monster would be one. Or that one. Or that one. I would name. I would hold off on naming them right now. Like, like another name for a furry creature that plays hide and seek. So, like another name for a furry creature that plays hide and seek all the time. Social distances. Furry. Furry. No. All right. So we're gonna go around the room. We're gonna name them. And if you can't name any more, you have to take a whiff of sw smelling salts. And then we're gonna go until nobody else has smelled the salts. <laughs> <laughs> right to left, left to right. All right, what about, so, what about different names? The same. That's fine. You can do different names for that was you for me. Oh, okay. I thought that was this. I was like, ah. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We know. We know. Tell All right. So, do you want me to go first, or do you guys want to go first, and I'll go last? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think one. Yep. Name one from the jump. Bigfoot. So, Bigfoot. Whoa. Bigfoot. Bro. We didn't start the segment then, bro. We just started now. And you can use other names for them, so they have multiple names. Chupacabra. Megalodon. You don't know, though. Have we ever seen it, though? I, it, it counts under cryptids, though. I looked it up, and it is counted under cryptids. But is that considered that, or should we give another option? Give you another option. Godzilla. 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 When Dango. Leprechaun. Was that like dropping a hard R or what? No, no. Oh. <laughs> hard R. That's freaking. Oh. Wow. Uh, fairy? Hey, you're talking about big people. Banshee? I'll take a sniff of that. I don't know. Really? Oh, you don't want to. But you were prepared for it. Well, you already said we wanted to sniff it. So. You want to? Yeah. <laughs> Right, oh, here, get I'm the so microphone and take a look. I'll open it and get in there. Don't get it. Just get it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> All of it. Very close. No, that's oh, strong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. I smell it. <laughs> yeah, Doc. <laughs> Woke me up, though. That was good. <laughs> Bro, I'm still thinking about doing it. I'm still thinking about doing it. I can get your job. Might as well. Like, you yeah. can use all multiple names. Like, different I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, oh, what's wrong with you? I can tell none of y'all played that. Man, right? <laughs> 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 right there. I got nothing. Oh, somebody had me. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good one. Oh, Swamp Monster. Which one? Just I'm kidding. Oh, that was like, <laughs> there's more than one. Uh, a siren. I'm gonna take it from Star Fox. Dog man. Ooh. Right? What about what about Thunderbird? The fox. No, that big ass pterodactyl type bird. Phoenix. Phoenix. There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> no. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Chimera. Ooh, okay. Uh, 
I got nothing. <laughs> there we go. I'll hand it to him. Here, you want to hold the you want to hold the mic for Get the snow in his face. Can I shake it? No, no. Oh, I'll take my shake. I sprinkled it for you. <laughs> Swank, you might want to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to wash it. I put it in the bottle. I can Bro. I I love this. Yeah. Why? Double. Duendi. Oh, man. We have a, we have a, um, a listener submission for uh, a story that happened to them. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Dragon. Dragon. All right. The real one in the Bible. Merman. Uh, 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 a harpy. It's uh, a harpy, bro. Oh, it's, it's right. Right. <laughs> a mermaid. Wait, you, already already you already said mermaid. You already said mermaid. Okay, werewolf. Oh, 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 now we just go say everything. No, no, no. That's, that's another name. Monkey bear. That's another name. Hey, that's another name for a baby Jew. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Baby Jew. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. No, is that too soon? Oh, I'm just joking. He's got a job. He has to go through a Monday. Gorgon. Oh, he just learned in German. Huh? Huh? Gorgon? Gorgon? Like Medusa? That's a really good one. Demogorgon. Pixies. Ooh. Minotaur. Is there like a time limit on this? Yeah. Well, yeah Dan, I feel like, come on, like 10 seconds? A nymph. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the New Jersey Devil. Oh. Mothman. Oh. Kelpie. 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 It's like a, oh. a water spirit elf thing. Uh, the Dover <laughs> Demon. We can get down to the nitty gritty. Orc. Thank you for inspiring. See, now you guys are over there like, man, I'm going to go. I got the other one, but I'm not going to. Oh, man. 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 <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, take a second. Uh, it smells like my underwear after the oh. gym. <laughs> uh. Are you ready? You look nervous. Um, are you, you look ready? Oh, oh, oh. Well, jackalope. Bitch, you got your phone over there. <laughs> you <got> the <laughs> it. It. Sea serpent. Uh. Oh, I mean, you can let him slide on that one. Uh, yeah. What a sea serpent, bro. A sea serpent. Goblin. Ooh, you dirty, dirty. Ooh, you inspired on. me with yours. I know. <laughs> okay. Let's do, uh... Oh, you you guys have grabbed everything. Yeah. I this is some, tough. I can put your, uh... What is social? A vampire. Oh! I said, yeah. Oh. Why are you pointing at me? What's your name? A succubus. Ooh. I got one right now. I got one right now. Oh, no, no, I got one. 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 I got one.
Uh, no, I dude, is there that, uh, uh, you mean the one eye? Yeah, the one eye over here. Uh, oh, I know it. I'm Cyclops. Oh. Centaur. Oh. He knows every mythical creature. Got Incubus. It's the, the male version, it's of the the version of a succubus. It's on the table, sir. Oh, oh, and, and you know what Chucky was. Fuck it, it's too. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, no, I'm all these I know. I'm uh, a uh, ogre. ogre. You said ogre? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. You could. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I think we went through everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jetty. He said oh, that. Did okay. you say it, Jetty? Yeah, Jetty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's with a Y, so it's Jetty in Spanish. Jetty. Jetty. Billy and uh, my uncle. Jetty. Cha, cha, cha. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
that is gross. Huh? What? Oh, wait, wait. We gotta let, we gotta let Swank smell it first. No. Yeah. I'll take some. Here, I'll smell it. I'll smell it. I'll smell it. Yeah. One of us. One of us. I feel like that's a cold kid. Yeah. Yeah. The mic. Oh, you want to hold it? Yeah. Yeah. Hold the mic so we don't throw it off. Put your lips on the mic. You don't slam it like a football. Dude, I thought that my eyeball. Yeah, dude. He goes like right up behind you and bounces on the door. Yeah. You don't have to do a deep inhale. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> okay, look. That, you, you want a second? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna do another yeah. one. Woo, y'all are very bold, man. That's Take a deeper head. I'm trying to test my thing. Want to wake up? Yeah. Yeah. It makes it stronger. I did that when I started. The residual. Yeah. Ooh. I tasted it with a lot of my throat. And he went back again. He was like, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, let's see again. I'm telling you, hey, you got some hat out. soft you're all soft i say i say that as the tears are coming out of my one eye um, i want to say this has made me uh regret our friendship a little bit though yeah <laughs> friends don't make friends do this next time i think next time we should do like name sports players you know i think it's easier yeah. for some of us Oh my God! I agree. Uh, so I'm I'm like real. Sports aren't real; they're all predetermined. We got a whole segment on that one day. Um, <laughs> we got a whole segment. All right. So the next thing we got a caller submission. Um, he told us a story about a mythological cryptid creature, and I was just going to read it to you guys, give you an idea. He uh, <clears throat> he grew up in the Philippines. I sent it to you, right, TBD? Yes. Okay. So, uh, I have it screenshot so you don't. Oh, that's cool. Uh, growing up in Slay City, Philippines, pronounced C Lai. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, it's located in the N word Occidental Visayas. Uh, said Negros. I just didn't know. Oh, sorry, sorry. Word. Edward. Edward. No, look, there's a place. No. Uh, uh, there are these little. Oh, we believed in the Wendy's. Go Wendy's. Um, there are these little elves that live in these termite hills. And termite hills are huge, by the way. Um, TBD and myself look yeah, them up. Yeah, they can up. be like five meters above ground. And then yeah, five meters, meters ground above ground. Like the actual part of the nest What's that? What's that? It can be about like 25 meters wide. Can we say, can you translate meters to uh, American, please? American feet. Uh, yeah. Three times five is 15. Mm -hmm. So 15 feet tall. And then they could go That's to 100 wide. meters. So 70 70 feet 100 meters 70 feet no 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 i'm not good at that's 300 feet sorry so they go about 300 feet underground and they're pretty they got pretty decent size holes um so these are these little elves that live in these termite hills when we used to mess around uh just exploring and being kids um when you see these termite hills you're supposed to say tabi tabi po um, which is respectful, a uh, respectful way of saying, excuse me, since these are technically their lands and homes, we're supposed to show respect. The Wendy's can be friendly, but if you mess around with, if you mess around with them, they can play, they can place a curse on you. Um, him and his buddy one day were just bored and decided we're going to mess with, uh, we're going to mess with it, see what happens. So they decided to kick the mound and stomp on it. I decided to talk crap and, and was mocking it, <clears throat> saying, what are you going to do about it? Um, you aren't real, you little stupid <laughs> Fs. Uh, uh, a few days later, my right foot swelled up and was getting infected out of nowhere. There was such 
there was so much pus and it smelled awful. It smelled and looked like a mangy dog. Gross. Um, where I grew up, we didn't have any money. We didn't have any money and there were no hospitals nearby. My cousin saw what was wrong with me and he told my, his grandmother from the other side of the family. She was known as like a like a witch or like a um, what are they called? Uh, like a shaman or like a witch doctor type person. Um, so I went and and said to her, or I went, I so I went and told her, and I didn't want, and I didn't tell anyone about the story. She took a look at my right foot and had this big concerned look on her face, and she immediately took me into like a shaman witch hut. Um, but she had it behind her house. So it was like a small little hut or shed or whatever behind her house. She started burning what I assume was sage and was chanting some language I didn't understand. And whatever heard and understand or what, or have ever heard, or have, yeah, I've ever heard. Um, then she took ginger and peeled it, held the ginger in her mouth and was whispering her chant into it. <clears throat> then she told me, a duende has placed a curse on my foot for being involved with someone disrespecting and destroying my or destroying its home. Um, she then took the ginger and used it to draw a cross on my forehead. Then she then threw the ginger in the burning sage. She chanted some more. She took the sage and started smacking my foot with it and it <laughs> hurt and it burned the pus and the wound. Uh, after that, she told me to take the piece with the duende and to offer him food. She then bandaged my wound with a banana leaf and, and a piece of string. Before I left, she told me to stay away from my friend and my friend because, or stay away from my friend because something is bad is going to happen to him and reiterated that I need to make a peace offering with the duende. I was skeptical, but went ahead and placed sliced mangoes and said, sorry, and it will never happen again. Two days after my foot started healing, uh, probably a week later, me and the same friend went to get went to get spiders from the sugar cane fields. We used to capture spiders to make them fight on a stick and make I bets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we caught a really good spider, someone would buy it off of us so we could buy ourselves some food. Uh, as we were living before sunset or as we were leaving before sunset, that's when the spiders started coming out and making nests. We were discussing what happened. And he made fun of me saying that Duende had nothing to do with it. And it was a coincidence. Uh, the place we go had a busy road where trucks and transport sugar canes. It's a janky road with uh, sugar cane fields on both sides. An hour into the trip, he spotted a big spider across the street and he ran across. And I stayed on the same side and uh, had turned my back <clears throat> or had my back turned as in was catching a spider. And I just heard a truck horn and a big splat. Uh, I turned around, the driver came out saying he had a, hit a kid. He was yelling at me and asking what we were doing, uh, doing out there in the dark. Me and him then went looking for my friend. I looked on the ditch and on the side of, and the driver was looking on the other side. Then I heard him scream. That scream still slips into my nightmares every now and then. So I ran over and my friend was in the ditch. All I really saw was his back and a lot of blood where the driver shined his flashlight. I didn't want to look at the dead body. I've already seen a few at that point in my childhood and it gave me nightmares. So I ran all the way back to my friend's <laughs> house and told his brother what had happened. And he didn't believe me, but he told his parents. So they went, um, the next day I went to his house and everybody in his family was crying and mourning him. Uh, that was my only experience with mythological or like cryptids and witchcraft. Uh, now that I live in the United States, I don't believe in it. And I tell myself it was all a coincidence. So I just thought it was kind of a cool story to have like a first like s submission from like a listener and stuff. So I thought that was kind of interesting. <clears throat> I find it believable though. Yeah, I mean, I mean like I I've seen strange things that have happened out of superstition. So I, I find it believable that that could have happened. Yeah. You guys got any thoughts? Tease and peace. It's like, it was just hot twists. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting like a, like a death. You All know? the pus coming out of your foot. All right. Um, any, anybody else? <laughs> Bring it on back. Sorry. 
I almost feel like we're gonna have to just just raise your hand if you want to talk, and I'll hand the mic over. It's just kind of hard to like. Throw your one. Oh, that <laughs> All right, and then uh, this segment's gonna be deep dive, where we actually deep dive into talk a little bit more about Bigfoots and stuff, and uh, talk a little bit more about. I do that. How long? How long ago was that? That thing yeah. when he was little? Yeah. I was gonna say like at least he's probably thirty now. Yeah, so twenty years ago, 20, 20. probably twenty. Twenty years ago. Twenty-two years ago. That shit was big. Yeah. For him to write that in, I don't know. Yeah. But he him. He him. Yeah. I'm a. I identify as Papa Schmurf. He knows him. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. He's he's we have cross path. Yeah. yeah. Dragon <laughs> All right, so our next one is going to be oh, sorry. <clears throat> our next one is going to be about the deep dive. We're going to jump into Bigfoot and cryptids, and then we're also going to deep dive into reptilians, shapeshifters, and paranormal activities. I got some videos on those too. But uh, anybody got any stories of Bigfoot or any type of mythological creatures or stories that have happened to you or you've heard? I know some people that have lived in the house with the ghost in it. If it's uh, closed doors and bang cabinets and even invaded their dreams, according to them. Like they were remodeling their basement and their mom said like there was one wall that was like kind of messed up and they were talking about having the company come tear out the wall to make the basement bigger. And this woman came to her in her dreams and told her to leave it alone. So she's never messed with it. I, I feel like that falls under that. He's from Louisiana. Yeah, I was going to say the ghost capital of the world. They, You're down in Louisiana, oh, oh. we have a thing called the Swamp Monster. And so it was during it the Swamp Monster. That no, that's what we call it. So it was during the 1900s. <laughs> it was during the 1900s, like some kids went into the swamp. You have to Google it. <laughs> but they were just saying like back in the 1900s like kids would go you know in the swamps or even grown-ups like fishing and just randomly they would see like two big red eyes just in the dark and they would go disappearing and it was just a big coincidence back in the 1900s and um they never found them i guess the monster or whatever or if it was even a monster so that's the yeah, only thing that's yeah. interesting to me. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah, like, you want some more of them salt? Could have been like they drowned or something. <laughs> like you know, drowned. You're down to the swamps, crocodile. I don't, I don't know. Makes sense. Know. You see, I'm just showing that like juice logic at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> what about? So do they have like besides like the big red eyes? Do they have evidence or anything? Like, was there like pictures or like noises or anything documented? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've seen. <laughs> and then another thing, <laughs> like Voodoo's big down in the south. Yeah. So yeah, they had uh, they had this place, the mortuary. It's uh, it's like top five haunted house in the u.s but they have a lot of voodoo activity there um what were you about to say? i got a question for you because you're from the south and i heard this is a thing that happens a lot like women places person curses on their men by putting blood in their spaghetti is that a real thing i, I don't think i've been be alive for long for that okay <laughs> because i have a couple people from the south where i work and they said that's one of the things like don't ever let a woman cook spaghetti for you because she'll put her blood in there and it's supposed to do something to you to make you not leave her alone no matter what she does. I never heard of that before. <laughs> You've heard that shit? Yes. <laughs> right, we have some people from like uh, Mississippi that work with us and they say stuff like that. I'm like, and specifically, it's supposed to be her, you know, menstrual blood <laughs> that she puts in the spaghetti. Oh, and that's it. like, yeah. Blood magic. yeah. yeah. No. I was going to say, I know. <laughs> I know for a fact that in Miami, like, the well, obviously the Haitians do the voodoo, oh, and the Cubans, the Cubans do like witchcraft. Like I met, there was this dude that used to work with me, and he was like, "Oh, I gotta go to Cuba for like a week, so I'll be out for a week." I'm like, "Oh, what are you gonna do?" He, he, like, 
He does a whole bunch of witchcrafts down in Miami. He's a warlock. I have no idea, but dude, he's like, oh, it's called Santeria. Oh, so yeah, he, yeah, yeah. So he was like, oh, went to Cuba, did a couple, like, learned some Santeria shit over there. Figuring, I'm like, but, but what'd you do? He's like, sacrifice a whole bunch of chickens, a bunch of crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. I'm like, Wait, does he get paid to do that? Is that why he goes over no, there? No, that's, like, that's, that's his religion. Like, it's, that's his rich, like, religion stuff. Oh, they, oh. they pay for the flight. <laughs> yeah. So something I just read um, down in New Orleans over the Superdome, they built over the Superdome. They built a they had a cemetery underneath the Superdome, mm-hmm. and it was witches and like voodoo activity before. And so, um, like a conspiracy theory with that is they have a curse on the saints. <laughs> To where they put a curse on the Saints to not win for 30 years. But then once when Hurricane Katrina came around, it flooded the city and they lifted the curse for five years to get everybody like I guess back to normal. That's when the Saints won the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. won a lot of like, you know, championships in the division. And then um now it's back again. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a bunch that's of that's why that's why Zion. Yeah. yeah. So that's, and, uh, that's, that's, I don't know. It's, 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 it's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I, I wanted to show you guys some videos. I have it around. Yeah. Fortnite. Why is it too big? It's Fortnite dances. What do you think about this one? Okay. <laughs> That one's more like a, a sports one. Uh, we sorry. already know that Cal Carter does. Who? Oh, yeah. yeah. So here's some uh, about shape shifting. These are like some type cryptid type stuff I want to show you. Uh, reptilians, shape shifters, and paranormal type stuff where like people will um, like summon a demon to, okay. to become a specific thing. So like here's a shape shifter. Here's the video for it. She's a shapeshifter. She's a demon, bro. Have you seen the videos of Beyonce shapeshifting? Yes. What do you think about that, She's Richie? demonic. Beyonce is demonic. She's a demon. What makes you say that, Richie? She, well, first off, she's, they call her Queen B, and she's, they say that she's like the head woman of the, the elites. Why, why like is it? Like her and Jay-Z, like they're the, they're the big, the, yeah. yeah. So the, the pyramid. Yeah. The all-seeing eye. I covered my all seeing eye on, on with a cross. Why would you do that? Because I believe Jesus Christ was so, a savior. So what makes you believe that Beyonce is one of these people? What is she then if she's not a human being? What she's is a, she? She's a demonic being, dude. Why do people keep saying she's a reptilian? Because her eyes shift. And her skin, her face morphs. And there's videos. Those to are prove demons. It. The demons. Yeah. There's videos. The to demons prove take it. over their bodies, bro. And they start doing crazy stuff. They start killing. They, like they're sacrificing stuff. Sacrifice animals, sacrifice children. There was a guy who actually the group and his face like morphed. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what celebrity that was. There was a few. Jennifer yeah, Bieber. That stuff's happened to him like a million um, times. Really? Oh yeah. His eyes closing this way rather than this way. Yeah, they got tons of videos of that. Like the lizard people kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Mm. Are the lizard people considered so if they're real, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the other one. Oh, is that Hitler or Oprah? Yeah. 
Um, so this woman, here's a cryptid video. Here's some cryptid. But he was, it was like the perfect thing for the song, like how, uh, <laughs> and then here's what they caught. They caught a big bug. Oh, they caught a, um, so this one's under cryptids. They caught this on video and they thought it was like a Bigfoot or a type of Bigfoot. It looks like a gorilla, but they caught it out of nowhere. <laughs> and then can't hang on Mexican gorillas. <laughs> have you ever heard of uh skinwalkers? Yes. So what they'll do is they'll take they'll take the shape of an animal, but then they'll make it do weird things like a human. Um here's a video of the goat. This is walking on two legs like a chicken. I feel like walking on two legs like can do tricks that you can do this year. you ever see that movie the witch or whatever oh my uh, God. and then here's a big foot that, that they reportedly uh Saw from a train remote. Oh, yeah. You know, remote part of it. So here's this one. You see it down there? Can't be a guy, just a camel. Ah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, ghillie suit. Yeah. Is that not a video? Yeah, don't look like oh, it. no, here it is. Oh, it's yeah, that looks like a ghillie suit to me. You think so? Yeah. Looks like a bush man to me. Maybe. That's the other one, bush man. Bush, uh, for Bigfoot. The bush rackers? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? Ooh. It just looks like a guy that hasn't, hasn't had a haircut or a shave. Well, he, he looks like the Bigfoot guy from, uh, Looks like Harry on Titan. Looks like Harry. It just looks like um, the jerky. But they film like walking, like far and stuff. Honestly, this is a regular dude trying to take a shit. Yeah. And then, um, so there's the cryptid one. I want to do some of those on the facts. Cloning. Yeah, changelings on this cryptid? Changelings? I don't know what that is. It's like when the elves switch out human babies for like their babies. No. Oh yeah, maybe that thing. But yeah, the thing that it leaves there. Um, because it's like has the shape of a, a human, but it's not really human. And don't they feed on flesh? Oh look, reptilian right there. Yeah. So here's reptilian stuff. Reptilian. This was the day that the government was caught with the reptilian secret service agent in HD and they didn't deny anything. In 2013, this footage was live streamed on television while Obama was making his speech. People noticed a weird looking secret service agent with green skin and people noticed how non-human he looked even with the color change filter on him. And then when the government was confronted about having reptilian beings in the government, this is what they said to the public. Check this out, I can't confirm the claims made in this video, but any alleged program to guard the president with aliens or robots would likely have to be scaled back or eliminated in the sequester. This was said by the spokesperson for the National Security Council. I literally looked for this video everywhere and couldn't find it. The only place it actually exists now is Reddit. Even websites that claim to have it, it's just a blank space like the video was taken off. 
This is obviously a non-human being and looks like a reptilian humanoid, and he probably is a newbie and got in trouble for failing to hide his identity while on camera. One thing is for sure, they could not hide this one. It was literally caught in HD. When it, when it comes to aliens, uh, there's some things I just can't tell you. Green skin. So this one is the uh, under reptilian. I'm just saying it so that we don't know to edit it out of the couch. And like, just so <laughs> What about Slender Man? That's yeah, another one. Oh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he might get that. So when it comes to aliens, there's just something I can't talk about. Um, but and then this real one, quick, did yeah. they mention that they were going to use aliens and lizard people to protect the president? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to have to scale it back, though. Yeah. Because of the... Because people are noticing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then here's another one. No, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. Baby, I'm more reptilian. More reptilian. <laughs> no, I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. Baby, I'm more reptilian. More reptilian. <laughs> I'm not a poor baby. I'm more reptilian. More reptilian. And then this lady explains reptilian hybrids. The reptilian hybrids have been known to shapeshift temporarily into into their reptilian form. Uh -huh. So that's happened with three of them, whom I know about. Uh, one of them, a beautiful uh, hybrid living in England. Her name is Charmaine. Um, the way that she got confirmation that she is a, a hybrid, hybrid was having an encounter with some of her reptilian extraterrestrials and she has encounters with other types as well and genetics from other types but in one encounter when she was about age 27 uh, with her reptilian extraterrestrials um, they helped her to shapeshift into her total pure reptilian form and she can and do that she goes back and forth and it, she can go back yeah. and forth as she pleases mostly she's human yeah and um but when she shapeshifted into her reptilian form she was absolutely delighted huh. now most of us might be rather horrified at the thought but she was delighted because she had always felt some reptilian they talk about people that will switch into the reptilian form because they can hold that for a really long time. So their eyes will switch and switch out. Like this lady. Those are things your eyes switching. This is a game. Y'all think this is a game? This is who our enemies are, right here. You see that? They're half breed reptilian races. Draco and reptilians are different races. These are the ones that we have been taking out. Ooh, ooh. So this looks kind of odd. Is that funny? They live in What do we do fight them? They train our. They try to cause conflict. So because they feed well, off the negative energy. Yeah, and what happens is they try to get that negative energy to absorb it into like whatever they can live off of. Oh. Um, and then this one's David Icke he explains it. Yeah, well, he, he talks about it. Telling me nowhere. You you have invited me onto a radio station 
I turn up on time and you stand there and say, without any substance or explanation, we're not having you on. Now, I just explained. No, you haven't. Why? Tell me why. I have a review from Terry on, which you have written. I don't feel comfortable with it on the written. Why? No, that's it. Okay. Let's talk well, about, I, I, first I, I, of all, why sure Jewish groups are calling you anti Semitic. Because I'm getting too close to the truth. When you get too close to the truth, they can assassinate you or they can assassinate your character. In my case, they've um, chosen the latter. You're the most mocked at, laughed at. You know, people have called you a loony, it's been written. I've been uh, researching this stuff for, for 20 years. I've How been, can you research? I, I've been to more than been more than 40 countries doing it. It was the greatest gift I ever have been given because it set me free of the prison that most people live in, which is the fear of what other people think. They don't silence. Or they'll ban you and we'll shut your stuff down. And then you have no way of talking about it. Yeah. Um, and then here's the last one for Tilly. I saw Epstein shift in front of my eyes. It was very, very frightening. It was like a weird hologram and it had like big black eyes. It was like a reptilian, draconian, alien sort of thing. And it's just something that I had to explain to myself because I saw him turn into something. You know, it's not, not an easy thing to talk about because I can understand that a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't un understand it if they haven't seen it, but I saw it. And you know, I'd like to be lie detected on it. I'd actually love to be lie detected on it. So she was saying she wanted to be lie detected on it. I'll prove you that I'm not lying. And then uh, I just have one more. Oh my goodness. I think it's under music. Music and symbolism. It was like how people will uh, call demons in. To, so she calls on, like what Beyonce does with Sasha Fierce, Nicki Minaj calls on to Roman. And Roman is her alter ego, which is like how she raps. She raps a different way when she calls on Roman. Mm -hmm. so, Beyonce changes a different way when she calls on Sasha Pierce. Hmm. Um, keep this one. That's it. <laughs> artists being possessed by demons. I mean, look at Nicki Minaj speaking on who Roman is. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me and he says the things that i don't want to say he was born a f you know just a few months ago i think he was born out of rage she even starts to summon him in interviews what up what up bro what up what up and i love me some beyonce but what about beyonce this is sasha fierce when does she show up Usually when I hear the crowd, when I yeah. put on my stilettos, um, when, like, the, the moment right before when you're nervous and, and that other thing kind of takes over for you. Uh-huh. Then Sasha Fierce appears in my posture and, and the way I speak and everything is different. And why are all these rappers supposed to be being possessed by an entity named Rain Man? He says, my soul is possessed by a devil. My new name is Rain Man. Rain Man is said to be a powerful demon who makes deals with those who aspire to be big in the industry. I mean, Jay-Z talks about him. I used to write all the time, you know, before I start uh, going into the Rain Man thing. Even Lil Wayne. It's the Rain Man, we have a rainy day? Who is Rain Man? Is it just an alter ego? Or are they paying tribute to an entity? Watch, she starts summoning Roman. You know how Nike Minaj says that someone named Roman lives in her? Well, that Roman came out the other night at the VMAs. MTV is petrified because they got a couple calls yesterday. And, and people were saying, what if Nikki says this and if Nikki says that? And they, and, and, and MTV, and, and, and you know, and I said, it's okay, MTV, I can control myself. 
Because if you can't control yourself, you can't control anything around you, right? But you know who can't control themselves? Roman. Red Ruby the Sleeve. Chun Li. So I'll think about it. Weird, right? Yeah. And then this one's funny just because Glenn Beck talks about how there's so much like this is when it gets into like a um, this is his version of making fun of like the conspiracy type stuff like he rolls it into a different what is Taylor Swift's most popular song all too well that's according to Rolling Stone all too she recently re uh, released a 10-minute version of that song. Oh, only 10. And the actual length is 10 minutes and 13 seconds. 10-13. October 13th. Exactly. The 286th day of the year. What happened in the year 286? Six, the Roman right? Empire split into Eastern and Western Empires. You're always thinking about the Roman Empire. I really don't. Roman Empire. That's Rome, it, you know. the capital of Italy. Now stay with right. me. Let's go back to Taylor Swift's song, All Too Well. It was a song on which album? Red. What's red in Italian? Rosso. Let's rearrange the letters I mean. in Rosso. What do we get? Soros. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But that's but Bro. that's how they'll try to like run conspiracies and like oh that's that's how, this, this. Like, like, those are no. people that are plant. Yeah. They're trying to destroy for factory. sure. And this is the last one I'll play. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You started I, I know, see I... that face though, man. Ooh. This is like pretty sure up. Yeah. Um yeah, that's about it for those ones. And then, uh, so those were the videos that I showed. And then, um, you want to get everybody's thoughts? Videos? Your thoughts and prayers? Anything. Hey. Um, you don't have anything? <laughs> do, do you have anything you would like to see? Any closing arguments? No. <laughs> Please. He's ready for bed. Yes. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I would, I would love to meet a Skinwalker. I'd, 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 I'd be intrigued. We didn't really touch too much on Skinwalker. No, we, maybe we didn't. Yeah, I would just because like they mostly like they turn into like animals acting like people, and like I've seen tons of animals in person do stuff you didn't think of animal would do, and you just chalk it up to intelligence. But like, could that be a Skinwalker? Like, I've seen cats and dogs literally open doors. That they shouldn't be able to open. So you think that's why Marvel destroys mythos and stuff? Could be like stuff in plain sight, just, so we don't think see. about it. And they... oh, yeah, <laughs> I slipped that fast. This they didn't say cod again. Yeah. Pretty big bummy can. Got any final thoughts? Or you got any questions about it? Yeah. Uh, Reptilian. Yeah, yeah. He's all right, Dad. You know, uh, I'm trying to head on today, knowing that I'm committed in a romance, oh, and a commitment. <laughs> so he tried to hold my hand. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. You saw me. You saw me propose. Yeah, you yeah. saw me propose. Propose, man. We're bro minutes. Let's go, bro pose. Bro pose. Is that recording the point that I was at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, you see me. Dude, you got, you got, <laughs> <laughs> That segment, um, TBD, you want to close this out? Let's stop for the day. You got a spooky one or a good one or a birthday one? I definitely got a good one. Not yeah. spooky. All right. Oh. TBD, stop. Thought for the day. Your faith can move mountains. Your doubt can create.
Go to the back of my Duck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Daffy Duck. Yeah. Chente, <laughs> <laughs> Chente. It's all right. He don't know anybody's name. All right. So uh, I think that's it for the episode. Um, any final thoughts? You got anything to say? We'll start with our guests. Hilly, you want anything to say to everybody? To the crowd? Say good night. Get your naps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said, get your naps in. He said, download your videos on Napster. And who's that? <laughs> Who that? Oh. <laughs> Isn't that the Chiefs guy that dates Taylor Swift? No. I'm kidding. Oh, you. Oh. You. <laughs> Rick, I'm a weekend. I'm going to burp. I'm going to burp it right now, so don't try to hit on me. <laughs> All right. Swank. Swank the tank. Nothing. Yo! <laughs> like the tank. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm the shirt. I know the perfect person to design it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got my happy birthday, TPD. Yeah. Birthday yeah. episode. Birthday yeah. episode. Yeah. Smelling yeah. salts suck. Um, Man, salts suck. Hell yeah. <laughs> I said smelling salts. Smelling, I you smelling said salt. <laughs> Bad salts also salt. suck. <laughs> um, that's it. I don't know. Meal. Yes. <laughs> you the XL one too? TBD, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Theodore Dean Namite saying, have a good Namite. Bruce! Oh, oh, we've missed that so much. <laughs> this is Code Conspiracy of a Dead Man. Stay safe, stay blessed, and keep on questioning. We out. <laughs>